Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. I want to thank God for his mercies upon my life and my family. Right. What God has been doing in my life. Amen. Since I know this ministry. Amen. Since 2005 or so. And um, I was living in abroad. And, uh, before I traveled 2013, it was in this ministry that the uh, pastor prayed for me. I traveled, I came down 2020, and I gave my testimony and thanksgiving here. And I traveled back. Since I traveled back, it has not been easy for me. Yeah. Devil have been one way or the other trying to get me down. So by the time my document got expired, my contract of work, which I used to renew this document, has also been expired. So uh, I'm, I was waiting to get the contract before I renewed this, uh, my document. Yes. So I traveled down to Switzerland. I met uh, one white man in Italy who told me to come down to their country. The man is a Romanian man. I've been praying about it. So on the day I want to move, I had a dream. So that the dream was not clear. My spirit was telling me that this dream was not a good one. So they said that when I entered the tram, I bought my, I bought my ticket already. I entered the tram. A, a pigeon entered with me in that tram. As I was moving forward, the pigeon overtook me and rushed out of the next door before the door jammed. I was sensing this is a sign not to move this journey. But I insisted that I would travel this journey. So on getting to Hungary, because there was no uh, direct train to uh, Romania, I, I, the border police stopped me asked for my document. So I showed them in my telephone my expired document. But I have my uh, international passport with me, which has not yet expired. They brought me down and took me to places and before they took me to the camp. So there I was in the camp. I met one Sri Lanka guy that was having the same document with me. He told me that he took a lawyer from Italy. And the, the lawyer have worked for him and they would take him back to Italy. I said, okay, give me the contact of the lawyer. So immediately the lawyer started working for me. I was seeing it clear, even in my dream, that the lawyer was going to work well for me. But all of a sudden, the, 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 the authority, I don't know what they did. They just blocked my contact that I used to connect to my friend that used to see this lawyer. And I have no contact again. What they have to do is to bring me down to Nigeria. They brought you back to Nigeria. They brought me back. Hey. It has not been easy. Since one year now, I've been in Nigeria. Wow. And uh, I have no business doing. I have a family. Mm. But only God that has been sustaining us, you know. Mm. Church, I appreciate the Lord. I bless the Lord. For his mercy. So on a good day, I, want to, I wanted to see Pastor to pray for me. He prayed for me on the next one that I, I signed. He prayed for me. He asked me. That's the passport. Can you see the passport, Church? I was trying to do a new extra visa. But when he prayed for me, I told him, he said, is there another problem? I, I said, say, yes. I said, I want to travel. I want to do visa. I don't know, because I don't have any connection or any channel to do this visa. He said, I should bring the passport. I, bring the, I brought the passport. He said, I should drop it in the other time. I picked it. It was my wife that had the dream. She said that she went to Kotonu to stamp her passport. My wife didn't have international passport. But I know that this is my message. Okay? After two days, I had a dream again. Mm. I had a scooter, electric scooter I'm using here, physically in Nigeria, I brought, I brought down here. But that scooter got spoiled. But in that dream, I saw my friend in abroad. I was telling him that my scooter got spoiled. How can he help me about it? He said, I should bring it down. He will repair it. Mm. I said, are you sure? He said, yes. So I woke up. I didn't understand this dream. Okay. I, I remembered somebody that helps me when I want to read my document. I've not been talking to this guy for a long time. So I went to my phone to check his number. I died the guy. He said, ah, where have you been? I told him what happened. He said, what? Why didn't you call me all this while? I said, I've, I've not been myself and I've not... It was only today that I, I, I just said, let me call you. So what happened? He said, where is this document that got expired? I said, it's down there, not brought there. It's with my friend. He said, he wants to get this. 
this very uh, uh, document that God inspired. I said, what do you want to do with it? He said, he's going to renew it for me. Hey. Said, Are you sure? He said, yes. Hey. Church, put those hands together for our Lord. Praise God. After the prayer, God spoke to our brother through a dream. Ah. He told me, I, was, I have to send some money. After I rallied around and gathered some money, I sent to him. Before some weeks, before then, the day he was to tell me that this document is out, I was in a dream too. I was trying to prepare to go to church. So I was trying to take my suit, the one I wear. Once we say, go and take your white suit. I went to take that white suit to put on for that church. Okay. I just woke up. That morning, the guy sent me something in the WhatsApp that my document is out. Hey, just like that. Church Praise the Lord. Hands together for our God. He answers so, prayers in this ministry. This is how this document was renewed. Hallelujah. I got the money, I sent him the rest of the money, and he did the DHL and sent me the document down here. As I'm talking to you, the document is in my hand. And you are preparing to. I know. <laughs> uh, the flight ticket is not yet ready. But I know what God has started, we will finish it. Okay, so it's set to. I want to thank God. Whoever that is here, I don't know what is your problem. I don't know what you are believing God for. But believe God. Believe God. Believe God. Believe God. What God cannot, what God cannot do does not exist. Church as far as you are in this ministry. Do you know there is a God? That your problem has been taken care of by the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord, church. Hallelujah. Somebody will just call you and just say, How much do you need? in my office when I was hearing on the television there the testimony of our brother that he was saying something about document that was sent to him from Europe and the Lord spoke to me the testimony is not completed until he gets a ticket to go back give him a ticket to go back I had it have you seen that type of favor before where are you come run to the altar here did you hear me? The Lord said I should give you a ticket to go back. Thank you, sir. That's why I said you should see me when we close. This type of favor is ready to locate somebody here. The Lord spoke it. He spoke it. I heard him. Amen. That is how financial favor will be located to you one by one, 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 one by one.